I hope you're all doing good. I'm doing great. It's Friday today. It's Friday. It is. It's Saturday, Sunday. It's Friday. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, I just got out of the shower. And uh, yeah, basically, I recorded a video. Then I jumped into the shower. And now I'm back. And I was going to start preparing some Swedish tacos. Some Swedish tacos. Some Swedish tacos. And I figured, okay, Olivia's not home for another hour. Maybe I should do a Swedish taco sound assortment. And go through some of the items that I always have on my Swedish taco table. On my Swedish taco table. Swedish taco table. Swedish taco table. There's a lot of stuff, so I'm not going to be able to spend that much time on each item. But I still wanted to show you guys. And if you're not familiar with Swedish tacos, it's like a religion in Sweden. Everyone, everyone, and I mean everyone, knows about the Swedish taco, and specifically the Taco Friday. All the Swedes on the channel, please confirm this in the comments. I'm right. Am I right? Am I right? Do you know about Taco Friday? Anyway, so basically what it is, is we buy all this stuff, and we slice it up like and uh, sauces and stuff then usually and please don't kill me if I'm saying anything wrong here because I mean all the Swedish families have their own way of making tacos and to be honest there is no right or wrong way but this is the way that we do it here so we slice up all the veg we get all the sauces and then you like make your own taco at the table So anyways, I think you're gonna understand. So let's just start going through the items. First off, we have probably the most important thing. All right, so I guess the whole base of the taco is the, the ground beef mixed together with this. Like taco spice mix taco spice mix but I didn't take out the beef since it's like a like a fridge item so I didn't want to take it out and ruin it but anyways this is a spice mix that we use for the taco and this one is like the mild version when it comes to like spiciness
also like to get like the hard shell bread um, usually this is what it looks like so usually I don't go for the mini version this is like the mini taco shell thingy but I wanted to try it out today because then I can make more tacos then I can make several tacos instead of because usually you're so hungry and then you make like one huge taco and then you can't eat anymore so I got the smaller ones so I can make more different tacos and enjoy it for a longer time that's so smart right and just for like to make it more easy uh, they have developed these like taco tubs so this is like a little boat type design so it's it's like a bowl so and it goes like a rectangle and then it goes up on the edges I guess the traditional taco design is like the V shape but that's pretty hard to eat so being lazy I guess they developed these to make it more easy to eat them like a 
Okay, boys, let's load up the taco shelves because people are going crazy. Taco Friday is really a thing. Santa Maria taco guacamole dip mix. <laughs> it's so like typical Swedish. But uh, yeah, so we like mash the avocado and then we mix it with the guacamole mix. The guacamole mix. And I, uh, I was working somebody from Mexico, like I had a colleague from Mexico before, and when I told her that I was using this, she almost killed me. She was like, oh, that's not real guacamole, blah, blah, blah. 
I guess she's right, but to be honest, I love the taste of this diff mix. It's like a comforting taste, and I've tasted it my whole life. So yeah, the guacamole dip mix is a winner. So we have more. 
this one might be a little bit more unique to me. <coughs> this is usually what I have to compensate. Since Olivia doesn't want like the hot sauces, I can take some sriracha mayonnaise, some sriracha mayo, and uh, put it on my taco to make it hot because I really like spicy food.
Swedish taco table. And this is like a... Either you hate it or you love it. It's coriander. 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 I think you say coriander in English, right? Sorry, but I only have one minute left on my memory card. So that's gonna be it for this little bonus video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Now you've learned a little bit more about Swedish Taco Night, Taco Friday. It's a thing. Ask anyone. And to all my Swedish friends out there, please leave a comment down below if I forgot something. Or maybe let us know what you have on your taco table. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video, have a good weekend, and we'll see each other really, really, really soon.